At the start of the story, we learn about Princess Rose who was cursed by an evil witch when she was born. The curse stated that if she touched a sharp object before turning 18, she would die and her kingdom would fall into a deep sleep for thousands of years. The curse could only be broken by Princess Rose's true love. The king, Princess Rose's father, was worried about the curse and made her wear an iron armor to protect her. As Princess Rose's 18th birthday approached, the kingdom was filled with happiness and preparations were made for a celebration. However, Princess Rose was not happy as she feared the witch would harm her before she turned 18. She confided in Jack, her true love, and asked him to go to the Seven Vanis to stay safe in case the curse took effect. Princess Rose believed that only Jack could break the curse. Only Jack's hugs could break the sorceress's spell. Before Jack departs, Princess Rose presents him with her locket as he sets off towards the House of Seven Buns. Princess Rose feels a sense of security, believing that Jack will handle any problems and restore everything to normal. However, the princess is mistaken, as the witch secretly eavesdrops on Jack and Princess Rose's conversations. In the following scene, we encounter the Seven Buns, eagerly preparing to attend Princess Rose's birthday celebration and extend their well wishes. They even bake a magnificent cake for her. Amidst the festivities, one of the buns attempts to pluck an apple from a tree. Unfortunately, due to his small size, he struggles to reach the apple and also grapples with loose shoelaces, causing him much frustration. Just then, Jack arrives on the scene. Engaging in conversation, the little dwarf shares his plight of trying to acquire an apple for the grand cake he has prepared. Before Jack can offer assistance or break the apple for him, a dragon swoops in from behind, snatching Jack and carrying him away. Unbeknownst to the dwarf, Jack accidentally plucks an apple from the tree, bringing joy to the little bun. The dwarf happily takes the apple and heads home, unaware that the dragon has taken Jack captive. While heading home, the little dwarf gets tangled in his shoelaces and falls down, rolling towards his house. Unfortunately, he crashes into the door, causing the big cake he made to be completely ruined. All the dwarfs are very sad to see this, except for one dwarf who had prepared a small cake for emergencies. Together, they decide to put apples on the small cake and go to the palace to give it to Princess Rose. Meanwhile, we find out that the dragon who kidnapped Jack was actually sent by the sorceress, and now Jack is trapped in her castle. The sorceress takes away the locket that Princess Rose had given to Jack. In the next scene, the seven dwarfs, known as the Bones, are on their way to the palace with their small cake. Along the way, they come across a big mirror that Bonos really likes, so they decide to take it as a gift for the princess and continue their journey. Little did they know, the mirror they found was not an ordinary mirror, but an illusionary mirror created by the sorceress to hide herself. When they finally reach the palace, the seven dwarfs are amazed to see the joyful atmosphere and the many guests who have come to wish the princess a happy birthday. Inside the palace, the dwarfs meet an old man who had come to help when something went wrong. To ensure a quick escape, an emergency gate was created in the palace. Now, when Princess Rose meets Bono, she asks about Jack, whom she had sent to Bono, but he claims to know nothing. As they continue their conversation, the sorceress emerges from her mirror and manipulates the time on the clock as it is all part of her plan. Bono witnesses this and tries to warn everyone, but no one believes him. As the clock strikes 12 o'clock, the princess's iron armor is taken and everyone, including the princess, is filled with joy. The curse has finally been lifted, and the people celebrate by setting off firecrackers in the palace. Suddenly, the sorceress emerges from her mirror and stands before Princess Rose. The princess remarks that the sorceress is a little late, as she should have arrived before midnight. The witch, using her powers, corrects the time on the clock and explains her plan to the princess. She reveals that she had manipulated the clock to make it seem like midnight. But there were still 15 minutes left until midnight. This revelation angers the king, who orders his soldiers to attack the sorceress. However, before the soldiers can make a move, the sorceress's dragon swoops in and throws them aside. Princess Rose then tells the sorceress about Jack and how his hugs can undo everything. The sorceress shows the princess a necklace, indicating that Jack is being held captive. The princess is devastated upon seeing the necklace, realizing that Jack is in danger. The sorceress commands her dragon to go to the palace and guard Jack, 
But as the dragon leaves, a statue falls on the sorceress, causing her ring to fly out of her hand and land in front of Princess Rose. Just as the princess is examining the ring, a dwarf touches it and disappears inside. The dwarf pulls out a sharp wire and accidentally pricks Princess Rose with it. As a result of the curse, the princess starts falling into a deep sleep, and the entire kingdom, along with the palace, begins to freeze. Luckily, Bono and the others know about an emergency gate and manage to escape the freezing by leaving the palace through it. The sorceress was extremely happy to carry out her curse. The seven dwarfs were secretly eavesdropping on the sorceress's words, so they found out. It is said that the sorceress used to love the princess's father, and the king had promised to make her his queen by kissing her, but he didn't keep his promise. That's why the sorceress sought revenge on Princess Rose by cursing her. After putting the princess to sleep on a tree, she left. Now, the man who had Princess Rose's necklace made her wear it, and he started crying because the princess slept due to his mistake. The sharp wire from the ring had hit Princess Rose, and all the problems began. In the same palace, Bono spotted the old man who had created the door to escape from the palace. Since he hid during the completion of the curse, the old man was still alive, but he was soon going to fall into a deep sleep like everyone else. Before falling asleep, he gave Bono the super serum and many other things that would be helpful in bringing Jack back. Before going to sleep, the old man informed Bono about a board that the dwarfs could use to reach the Sea Witch's castle. With the help of that board, the seven dwarfs reached the seashore because the Sea Witch's castle was right in front of them, where Jack was being held captive. On the beach, they encountered a mermaid who, upon the seven dwarfs' request, took them all to the sorceress's palace. Upon entering the palace, the dwarfs realized that it was very small. It was scary and dangerous because they faced many difficulties inside. Somehow, they managed to move forward despite the challenges along the way. However, during this time, one of their companions got separated from them and ended up in the dragon's room. There, he overheard the dragon talking to the sorceress. The sorceress has learned that dwarfs had escaped freezing by getting out of the castle, so she instructs the dragon to take good care of Jack. Meanwhile, the rest of the group reaches Jack and frees him from the witch's captivity. However, they discover that one of their companions is missing. The dragon realizes that there is someone else in the room, but instead of attacking, he tells the dragon not to harm him because they are friends. The dragon listens and refrains from killing. The dragon then shares his story with Bono, expressing his hatred for the magician and his desire to be free from slavery. The dragon also reveals that he has no friends to talk to. Bono is amazed to see the dragon talking and considers him a friend. In response, the dragon performs a special dance for Bono. However, when Bono laughs at the dragon's dance, the dragon becomes upset and decides to commit suicide. Just as the dragon is about to jump into a ditch, Bono and the others intervene to stop him. Bono, now friends with the dragon, climbs onto its neck and unties the rope. However, in the process, Bono gets tangled in the rope and starts falling. The dragon saves Bono from falling, but in doing so, the dragon also starts falling. The rest of the group holds onto the dragon from behind, preventing it from falling into the ditch. The rock under the dragon's feet started to crack, causing the dragon and all the sows to fall into the ditch. Just before hitting the ground, the dragon broke free from the ropes and flew, saving them all. The dragon wanted freedom from the witch, so it teamed up with dwarfs. They went to the sorceress's room where weapons were kept. The sows and Jack picked weapons, but the sorceress arrived. The dragon hid dwarfs and Jack in a coffin. The sorceress got angry at the dragon for not finding Jack, but Jack tried to attack her and failed. The sorceress knew about it and stopped Jack. The dragon attacked the sorceress, making her fall. She froze the dragon and left with Jack. They were sad to see the dragon frozen. They needed to build the palace quickly, but couldn't do it without the dragon. Dwarfs flew inside the castle on a metal pot with volcano pressure. Inside, he asked Jack to hug Princess Rose to break the witch's curse. Instead, Jack, under the witch's control, moved towards her. A dwarf used Princess Rose's necklace to break the witch's spell on Jack. After waking up, Jack moves forward to give the princess a hug, 
but the sorceress is not happy about it. She uses her magic to create a snow monster and attacks Jack. Somehow, Jack and Bono manage to dodge the snow monster's attacks. Then, a little dwarf decides to give Jack a special liquid given by an old man to drink. This liquid will make Jack much stronger than before, and he will be able to easily defeat the snow monster. But just as Jack is about to drink the liquid, the witch snatches it away and drinks it herself. The snow monster then attacks Jack and takes him to the palace. Everyone is very sad to see this, but suddenly the dragon comes flying with Jack. The dragon breathes fire and destroys the ice monster and then attacks the sorceress. The dragon tries to kill her, but the sorceress is unaffected because she drank the magical liquid. The sorceress then creates another snow monster and tries to freeze everyone. However, she gets distracted and asks Jack to hug Princess Rose. But before Jack can hug her, the sorceress realizes what he is about to do and attacks him. Luckily, Jack is saved just in time. Bono puts a mirror in front of the sorceress, causing her own attacks to reflect back at her and freeze herself. Along with the sorceress, all the snow monsters she created also get destroyed. Princess Rose then breaks the witch's curse, returning everything to normal. Everyone wakes up from a long sleep and happiness returns to the palace and the entire kingdom. Jack and Princess Rose get married because Jack truly loves her. The dragons also become best friends with the dragon and they all live happily together. And that's how the movie ends. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell.